Oh, definitely come in person. Oh my gosh, no. If you have the option to go to a conference, go in person. That's the whole point of conferences. All right. Well, I heard lambdas are cool, and people like them. And I also heard from Jason that if I know all the parts of lambdas, then I know C++. So let's write a lambda that contains all the parts that could possibly be in a lambda. And you are going to help. In fact, you're going to do most of the work. OK. Just shout it out. What comes first in a lambda? The, the capture clause, somebody said. I heard the word capture. Correct. OK, init capture is awesome. All forms of this capture suck. Pack capture is pretty cool. What comes next? Templ mm, I heard, what did they hear? OK, well, what comes next? Template. Template head. Yay. Types, we can put NTTPs, we can put template parameters, packs, whatever. What comes next? Arguments? No, we're a long way from arguments, let me tell you that. <laughs> Attributes. No. <laughs> constraints. Uh, we can put, yeah, we can put a constraint there. In fact, we can put lambdaception. Right? <laughs> a lambda knows, uh, that doesn't capture, converts to a function pointer, which converts to a Boolean, which is a compile time constraint. OK, what comes next? No, no, we're not, even, we're not mutable yet. Anyone? You said it a minute ago, Chris. I think it's attributes. Yes. So attributes here are new in C++23, and they appertain to the closure objects function call operator. What comes next? Anyone at my open content? Anywhere you can have an attribute specifier, you can have an attribute specifier sequence. More attributes. How about some more attributes? Empty attributes are fine. OK, what comes next? No, we're not a no except yet. Next is, oh, well, we've got more attributes. Next is, next is actually the, <laughs> the arguments, finally, or the parameters, finally we're at the parameters. All right, Any, <laughs> are you all sufficiently cowed now? <laughs> no one wants to call out what comes next. I'm still asking the same question, what comes next? I heard the, Const, const expra, let's see what comes next. What comes next? Const expra comes next, yes. Of course, it's implicit, but we can put it there. And someone else said mutable. Const expra mutable is fine. We can also have const eval there instead of const expra. We could have static instead of mutable from C23. Const eval mutable might be a bit weird, but, <laughs> but const expra mutable is fine. I think I've seen Jason do that in a talk. Uh, what comes next? Ooh, people are now very scared, right? Uh, yeah, someone said no except. I think it is no except. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, anyone know what comes next? I don't actually know what comes next. More attributes is the answer. <laughs> the, we can put attributes here. These attributes appertain to the type of the call operator. Not the type of the closure, but the type of the closure's call operator. It's unclear what, if any, standard attributes would currently fit here. I can't find any that go there, so we may as well put a non-standard attribute there. What comes next? More attributes? Yeah, yeah, more attributes. This is fine. This is a perfectly good attribute. This is, you can borrow, compile this. <coughs> um, what comes next? Not a macro, uh, I don't think we're at the return type. We might be at the return type. Let's see, we are at the return type. All right, we finally got here. And since C++23, the lookup scope of what's in the return type includes the scope of the capture clause. What comes next? There's no more attributes, I think. Uh, someone said requires, I think that is correct. There's another place we can put constraints. And here we can put things that depend on the parameters, right? We couldn't put things that depend on the parameters before. Now in C++, and finally, we get to the function body. So I think we're done. So depending on how you count, lambda expressions have 
10-ish possible parts. I guess what Jason said is true. Now we all know everything about C++. Um, in C++23, we're allowed to leave out empty parameters. Um, and if we do so, we can't have that requires, because I guess the thought is that the first requires, can, you can put anything in there, because if you're not saying parameters, you wouldn't need to have a place to put things that, that might mention parameters. This is almost true. I tried doing stateful metaprogramming in the no accept and the return type, but it didn't quite work. <clears throat> okay, now how do we call this thing? You can't time me out, you gotta time them out. How do we call this thing? You saw it before. We have to put template operator with the void. <laughs> because the template head is not deduced. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>